I know you've watched several videos just like me back there and the thing is not making sense. You've tried to calculate your menstrual cycle, but it's not making sense. You keep hearing people say, oh, my menstrual cycle is 28 days. My menstrual cycle is 32 days. This is my ovulation date. But to you, everything is sounding strange. Everything is sounding like it's not making sense to your ears because you don't really understand how to calculate it. Or you are a pregnant, you are a woman trying to conceive. You can't track your ovulation. You've been trying to comprehend it is not working. You're trying to uh, prevent unwanted pregnancy. You don't want to get pregnant. You want to know your fertile days and your non fertile days. But still, you don't have a, a good knowledge of menstrual cycle. I just want to let you know that you are not alone. There are a lot of people out there that are having that challenge of understanding their menstrual cycle. So on this particular video, I'm going to be breaking it down. I'm going to be simplifying it so you understand. And if you have any question, kindly drop on the comment section. I'll be willing and ready to answer that question. When trying to calculate your menstrual cycle, the first thing you should take note of is the start date of your meses. The start date of your meses. For example, your period started today. For example, today is Monday. Your period started today. That day that you went to the toilet to check your pants and you saw blood, that is the day one. So what you have to quickly do is to go to your calendar and cycle that particular day in your calendar. Because that is the day one. What you just need to calculate your menstrual cycle is the start date. The day you started your period. The day you went to the toilet and see the blood. That is the start date of your period. So if you've not been doing it now, this is an opportunity for you to start. Because with this video, you'll be able to know your menstrual cycle and your ovulation day. For example, let's take a look at someone. For example, we have May. Let's pick a date. Um, someone, the period started maybe May 4th, let's say somebody's period started May 4th, you woke up May 4th in the morning, in the afternoon or in the evening, you saw blood on your pants, like, oh, I'm on my meses today, you quickly go and change. So that's going to be your day one. So what you need to do is to go to the board and cycle that day. So I'm using May as an example, but we are in August now. So you go and cycle May, this is May 4th. That's what I'll do, I'll cycle May. So just cycle it, your meses it can last for two days, it can last for three days, it can last for seven days. It doesn't really matter. What matters is the start date. So in the month of June, let's say in the month of June, you woke up, you saw your meses, you saw the blood. Let's say 5th of June. So I'm going to cycle 5th of June. It started 5th of June. I'm going to use three, three months, that's three start dates. Let's say the month of July. The month of July, you woke up and it started 6th of July. So I'm picking random dates. I'm picking random figure. So what is important when it comes to calculating your menstrual cycle is the start date, the day your measure starts. So the next step is to calculate the days in between. So to calculate the days in between, we're going to calculate how many days from May 4th to a day before this fifth, a day before June, June, like your message started June 5th. So you're not going to add June because this, you're not going to add June 5th, I mean, because June 5th is the beginning of another cycle. So you're going to calculate from May 4th to June 4th, a day before the next message. So for example, your message started in June 7th. On June 7th. So you're going to calculate from May 4th to June 6th, a day before the next meses. So let's calculate it together because this is a life situation. So it's going to say, this is going to be your day one. In calendar day, this one is day one. But in your own cycle, this is going to be your day one. On the 4th of May, it's going to be your day one. 5th is going to be 2, 3. So let's count down 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. You can see we're stopping a day before. So that's the 32 day. So we write 32 down. Let me just write it here. This is 32. So we're going to calculate. Let's see if this cycle is regular. So we're going to calculate now from June 5th, which is the beginning of another cycle, to July 5th, a day before the next meses. So even if in July, your meses started 
July 2nd, you are going to calculate from June 5th to July 1st, a day before the next meses. So let's calculate from June 5th to July 5th. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31. So that's 31. So you can see on an average now, this person has 32, 31 day cycle. So when you know your cycle, this is an average. It gives you an average. It doesn't give you, oh, this is the estimate. This is what is going to be your cycle. It's like a stamp. No, it gives you an average. So on average, this person is having 32 or 31 days cycle. Generally, they will tell you to join in, add the number together and divide by two. Or you can say, take the smallest. Personally, I do prefer taking the smallest value. So looking at it, the smallest value is 31 days from what we just calculated. So what you are going to do is going to be 31 away from 14. 31 minus 14. Do the calculation. If you do the calculation, 31 minus 14 equals 17. That's to show that this person's ovulation is likely going to be day 17. You may, want me, you may want to ask, okay, when you say my ovulation is day 17, what should I do? What does it mean? It simply means that if your message starts today, 17 days from today is going to be your ovulation, the day you are releasing egg. So whatsoever your cycle is, even if it's 32 days old, 28, 29, 30, what you just have to do is to subtract 14. Take away from 14 from it. When you take away 14 from it, the number remaining is your ovulation day, your estimated ovulation day. So from the estimate now, we found out that with this cycle, this person's um, ovulation day is day 17. So what this person needs to be doing is that if the person's message starts today, the person is going to count 17 days from today. So 17 days from today is the person's ovulation. So let's say we stopped at July 6th now. So we're going to count 17 days from July 6th. That's going to be the person's ovulation. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So from that calculation, the person's ovulation is July 22. So this abstract person is likely going to ovulate on July 22. That's the estimate. So I'm still of thought to say plus or minus 2. You add plus or minus 2 to get the average. So to know this person's felt high days now, that this person can have sex and get pregnant, five days, five good days before this ovulation day is not safe. If you have sex during this period, you are likely going to get pregnant. So let's say one one, two, three, four, five. That's from 17th of July to the ovulation day is not safe if you don't want to get pregnant. But if you want to get pregnant, it is safe. Because the sperm can actually last five days in your body as a woman. The sperm can last five days in your body as a woman. So if the person has sex on the 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21, there's an increased chance of this person getting pregnant. And if the person has sex on the ovulation day, which is 22, there's an increased chance of the person getting pregnant because the egg only lasts for 24 hours. After 24 hours, the egg is no more. So that is a simple way on how to calculate your ovulation day and also your menstrual cycle. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. And please and please feel free to drop your questions in the comment sections. I will be waiting for them. Bye and see you in our next video.